Hello, and welcome to Belden's Technical Training Series on Terminating Coaxial Cable. Today, we're going to show you how to terminate RG59, RG6, and Belden's Mini RGB Coax. We're going to be terminating in a couple different styles. We're going to be showing you how to do an F connector, a BNC connector, and an RCA connector. Now we're going to show you how to terminate an RG59 cable with a BNC connector. As we stated before, when you're going to terminate any coaxial cable, you want to make sure that you have a nice perpendicular cut on the end of the cable. And to achieve that, the first thing you'll do is take a pair of cutters and make sure that you get a nice, even, perpendicular cut. Again, this is important to make sure that all the inside of the cable is cut at a nice 90 degree angle. The next step is go to your Belden AV Security Compression Connector Kit, take out your strip tool, and your BNC connector. On the bottom of this strip tool you'll actually see there's a, a dial here to select between 59 and RG6. Well, we're doing RG59 so we'll leave it there. We'll go ahead and flip, flip the stripper over and we'll insert the cable into the jaws. It's spring tension so you have to give it a little bit of a squeeze. Insert the cable all the way up against the washer end and it's, it's that stop there which is nice and then lower the jaws onto the cable. As the instructions say we're going to go ahead and do two turns forward and two turns back. So we'll count one, two, and then one, two. And then to take the bit off that you don't want anymore you'll go ahead and grab the jaws, apply light pressure, not too hard, and you'll pull the cable away. And what you'll see there is it'll give you a perfect quarter, quarter inch strip. What you'll notice is just like on the F connector, sometimes you're going to get some strands from the braid they are going to wrap around that center conductor. You want to go ahead and make sure that that, that is removed because otherwise it's going to short and, and cause a bad signal. So you see there, went ahead and, and pulled that off. Then the next thing, you're going to want to start bending this braid back evenly on all sides. And again, this is all part of the compression technique because it's a 360 degree compression. You're going to need to have even compression around all sides. So we'll go ahead and inspect our cable. Make sure that the braid is even and pulled back all the way around. Yep. And make sure that there's nothing, no cable on the, no strands on the center conductor. Nope. Foil's still in place. Looks pretty good. So next thing, we'll go ahead and take our BNC connector. And as you can see here, one of the nice things about our belding connectors is that you don't have a blind entry for the center pin. You actually can see the center pin right there. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and first step is to slide that right over the center conductor. And you'll actually feel it engage right before you start sliding the connector over the dielectric. You see there, there's no foil bunching. You're getting a nice, good, solid, firm connection on there. You can feel it and then you'll continue to push it the rest of the way right over that braid and you'll actually feel a click when you get it pushed on there when the center conductor slides all the way forward and locks into place and there it is right there let me show you a BNC without the center conductor slid forward just so you can for your reference see here here's the difference the center conductor is not pushed forward it's actually still inside the connector at the bottom there but by pushing this on here, it slid that center conductor forward and locked it into place. Okay, just make sure that that's on there good. The next thing you're going to do is take your compression tool. This is our standard Belden compression hand tool. And what you'll see here is we have the adapter set up for the F-style connector. Well, we're doing a BNC. You don't need that adapter, so we'll go ahead and pop that right out. It's held in there with the little spring clips. We don't need that. We'll put that right back into our case so we don't lose it, along with our stripper. Next thing we're going to do is hold the strip tool or the crimp tool in one hand like this. Pull the first die set down with your thumb. Again, you can see it's spring loaded. The second one you'll pull down with your index finger and you'll hold both those open like that. You see if you release, they just spring right back into place. The next step is to take your cable with your connector that's been just pushed on and you'll actually insert it down into the tool in between those jaws into the base 
you can actually release those spring-loaded parts and what you want to do is make sure that this connector is seated firmly into the spring clips and you'll feel it kind of clip into place there you can see it's good and sturdy and then you just go ahead and compress your connector make sure that that thing bottoms out really good remove it and actually you can see that the the connector just disengaged itself you push the jaws down in order to get the cable out and now you have a perfectly terminated BNC connector.